Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what? Pay attention. Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. All right, welcome back to another episode of Mindful Mayhem. As always, I'm your host, Cody Tucker. Today, I am joined by a very, very special guest, Miss Marina Gold. Hello, everyone. Hey. Oh, no problem at all. I really appreciate you coming on. So uh, before we start, uh, is there anything that you would like to promote? Where can people find you? All that stuff. Um, you can find me in all of my social media as Marina Gold XX and on OnlyFans, it's Marina Gold VIP. Awesome. So yeah. how long have you like been in the, uh, like, how do you call it? Do you call it like the porn industry or adult film industry or do you care? Uh, I, I call it porn industry. Okay. Okay. Porn. So, <laughs> so when did you get started? Um, I started like uh, one month after turning 18 and, and that was like last year-ish, something like that. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it was a thought that came out of nowhere for me to start in this. Like I hadn't had any connection to sex related jobs before mm-hmm. that. So yeah, it was pretty new, but pretty exciting at the same time. Yeah. I mean, did you do any kind of like modeling or anything like that before? I mean, like I did some little bit of modeling, but not for any brand. Just mm-hmm. I was just texting some photographers and they were like, oh, I want to shoot you. Like, let's do this, some collaborations, but nothing that serious as porn as a career, you know? Right, right. So, I mean, Jesus, so one month after you turned 18, I mean, were you like nervous to like to start i mean i mean it is like kind of young to me and it's a pretty big decision you know Uh i mean i think that the biggest concern for people so young when they start in a career like that is what will their parents think their family members because at that age you're still very close to them you know Mm -hmm. probably they pay for your stuff and things so that was like my biggest concern overall not what society might think but what my family and inner circle might think but i started to porn in like two weeks or like a week after my first scene came out my -hmm. parents knew so it was a little bit of a big thing but (laughs) now we're getting over it (laughs) yes (laughs) it was so bad yeah yeah jesus Mm -hmm. yeah that has to be a like an interesting conversation of like, hey, I mean, I mean, I think my parents would be proud of me. They'd be like, Hey, we're surprised you're actually having sex. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Because if it was a guy like you, it would be like, Oh, okay. I don't know. Like you're fine. But if it's yeah. a girl, it's like, Oh my God, you're such a slut. You're such, a, I don't know. So yeah. yeah I well, have it sort of in that aspect. Yeah. Well, that whole like double standard of like, guys can like fuck as many people as they want and hey like you're good job and but if a girl does it then she's like a slut which is so stupid i mean exactly um, yeah so i mean were you worried that people would have like kind of a misconception about you because of that because there are i mean even though it's 2022 and porn is massively successful there are still a lot of people who are like, oh, they have these like old school way of thinking about it, you know, like, like, how do you kind of go against that? I mean, it has been hard, especially with my family, because Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not a Spanish. I live in Spain, but I was born in Peru and I traveled to Spain to study and stuff. So my family in Peru is a little bit of a conservador, Mm -hmm. conservatorship. Yeah. and 
they're not religious, but they're still like very close. At least Peruvian society in a way is very like uh, no porn, no sex, no stuff. Yeah. That's why I'm like one of the only Peruvian porn actresses right now. But yeah. Yeah, so it was very hard. I had to make them understand that I'm not doing anything bad. I'm just mm -hmm. creating pleasure for people and I'm safe. Like their biggest concern was, are you safe? Because the misconception they had about porn is that you go into this creepy, sketchy place and they yeah. pay you nothing and they abuse you and then you're trafficked. That's the idea that they have. Right. But nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that's like the the misconception that I hear from people like all the time. Cause like I've done, you know, quite a few interviews with people who are in the porn industry and everybody who like I talk to about it, they're like, oh well they must be like they just still have these ideas that like it's a sketchy industry to be in. But then like actually talking to people who are in it, it's completely the opposite. Like exactly. you, like y'all are treated super well i mean it certainly seems that way from the people i've talked to like like yeah. you're probably treated better than like an actress in like a regular movie you know what i mean like on set yes because since sex is such a taboo thing in our society uh, they try to make sure that you're always super comfortable and like are you okay whenever anything hurts you have to say a safe word like stop or anything like they make sure of so many stuff so that you're always happy and comfortable with the shooting and yeah. stuff. And for example, other models that are not for models, but like regular wrong way or anything, they make them starve themselves. They yeah. make them like literally suffer. Like that industry is so toxic. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's like, I've heard way worse stuff about like mainstream modeling than porn. I mean, like you don't, yeah, like you actually see it like up front how, like how negative that industry is, like for people, because it's also, it's super like, it's like condescending to females, like because it's, it's promoting this idea that you have to look a certain way. Whereas to me, like porn is like, you could look however you want. There's somebody, who, there's a market for however you look. Yes, exactly. That's what I like about porn. It's inclusive. At least mm. the production that I've shot the most scenes for, which is called Puta Locura, is so uh -huh. inclusive. Like all of the girls are come are from different backgrounds, different body types, different hair color and stuff. However, I do think that porn in America is a lot more inclusive than porn in Europe. Right now, okay. I'm in Spain and like many times when i've done tours abroad for example in budapest which is like one of the main porn cities in the world mm -hmm. um i've been told by my manager and stuff that like they mostly want a blonde super skinny light blue girl i uh, girls yeah, yeah. Um, since i'm a little bit latina and i'm like a mix of stuff like they don't really aspire to that so uh okay. that's why i feel like in europe they do have a higher standard for girls mm -hmm. but there are some productions that are inclusive and i think that america is a lot more inclusive with latinas and uh, people from the black community and yeah stuff. uh yeah a hundred percent because like there's because mm -hmm. the whole point or at least to me of like porn is that whatever my fantasy is i should be able to find it and exactly. so you have to be inclusive to do that because like if my fantasy isn't a super skinny blonde white girl like in modeling like that's damn near all there is but with porn like i can find anything i want because like exactly. i have a certain type that i like um, and yeah and i can find it within like 30 seconds uh-huh yeah yeah that's a good thing about porn uh you also do not need to shoot for, for productions. You can make your own OnlyFans and you will find fans that like you but the, because mm -hmm. there's always going to be someone that likes you. It doesn't matter the way you look. So that yeah. is pretty cool. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I need to start one, an OnlyFans. Yes, literally. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> seriously, anyone could start an OnlyFans. And if you work hard on it and you invest on it, you could seriously start making a lot of money. So Yeah. Yeah, see, that's, 
I like I think that that's such a good way of doing it too like with OnlyFans of being able to have complete control of like what content you do when you do it like I mean yeah. that's such a great way and it's for your fans like exactly. so I mean that's perfect so did you so like how often do you shoot like how often do you film scenes um I it depends like I don't have a correct schedule since I'm shooting mostly for this uh, production, which I started with. And uh, they give me scenes, uh, it can be like around three times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if I'm on tour, for example, in Budapest or Prague, I can have scenes every day of the week. Mm -hmm. So it depends or at least uh, one time a day, every day I'm doing uh, personalized videos for OnlyFans. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, do you enjoy being able to like connect? Because with OnlyFans, I mean, I'm sure you get to like connect with fans and have like conversations. Like, do you enjoy yes. that part of it? Yes, exactly. I really, really like uh, that part of OnlyFans where mm -hmm. you can actually speak to the people that kind of admire you and they yeah. share your, their thoughts with you and they can ask for custom videos of what their fantasies are. And there are so many fantasies, like with OnlyFans, you realize how strange some minds are. Okay, okay, what's the weirdest one that you've heard? Okay, so it's not like a fantasy. It's something I saw in a video call because I also do video calls. Yeah. So this guy, um, before doing the video call, he told me, like, in the video call, I want you to tell me uh, to swallow my cum. And I was like, okay, we can do that. I just have to say it. It's no big deal. So we started a video call, and he's, like, laying on his back, like, mm -hmm. with his back on the, the wall. And his legs are all the way up. And he's jerking off here super near to his mouth and he was like tell me to swallow my cum and i was like okay saw your cum come on, you can do it and he swat he come directly into his own mouth because his legs were all the way up like this and i was in awe i was like what that's like, amazing i was like what but of course in the video call i was like oh my god yes baby like i love that but i was seriously surprised like no shame but it is surprising yeah like, no. you, never really you think of that stuff like it's god. crazy Th it's there are so many inks and stuff that no one really knows about yeah it's like recycling <laughs> like he was just going like right you know in yeah. a little circle <laughs> <laughs> jesus oh, christ yeah. that is wild yeah like yeah. i've heard some because i used to watch so i don't know if you remember this there used to be this show on hbo matt or on hbo whenever i was a kid called real sex do you have you ever heard of that which i mean you're a little bit younger than me but i mean um but they would just dive into different like kinks and fetishes and i would just oh. watch it whenever i was like eight or nine because it's because I, I know, uh, look, I did not have a great childhood, so. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> no worries. Oh, I know, like, I just saw, like, you know, sex in the title, and I was like, oh, I'm I'm watching this. I don't know what it is. And they were, the first thing I saw were people that were dressed up like horses running around, like, in a barn, and basically they would just, like, fuck each other dressed like horses. And I was like, it's a, it's a weird thing for a nine-year-old to see, but, uh, yeah. you know, oh, I was like. Yeah, I was like, I think I might just stick to, you know, missionary or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way easier. Yeah, Jesus. That's, that is, a, that's fucking, so how long do you do these, like, when you do these video calls? Like, how long is that for? Um, It depends. You schedule, it depends how much they can pay. They're like, oh, yeah. I only have $10. Okay, let's make a two minutes video call. Yeah. And, or you ask them, how long do you want? Oh, I want it to be like 30 minutes. Then we set a price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. So, like, how long was that one? Do you remember the one where the that was, was? That was like five minutes max. 
very max like probably yeah. was three minutes i don't really remember i was so surprised i literally <laughs> kept thinking about that image it would not disappear from my head ever like i have it here and it's just not going anywhere and i think about it every day i'm not lying <laughs> really Damn. that is that's a hell of an image to have in your head every day maybe you can search for it maybe there's something oh like god that. look Look, I'll tell you this. I have a pretty active imagination, and I already have it going on in my mind yeah, right now. See? I don't know what this dude looked like. For, I'm just picturing a random guy he doing this. Young also, he was like 19. Oh, so, God. Yeah. He's, no. Yeah, he's, he's trying to learn a lot about himself, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jesus. That is. So, what's. Okay, so like when you're going to do a scene, I assume you have like a list of things that like, okay, I'm not going to do this. Like here, here's what I will do. Here's what I won't do. Like are there, have you noticed since you started that there are things that you used to not do that you think, oh, maybe I will do this like at some point. You know what I mean? Yes. Like are you opening yeah. up more to certain things? Yeah, I think that's the good thing about porn, seeing sex is not a taboo anymore and you're more exposed to different kinks and different types of sex. Um, you can become friendly with a lot more other types like anal, mm -hmm. like double penetration and stuff like that. Um, because it, when I just started porn, like I didn't really know about these other types of sex. And I was just thinking, okay, I'll do boy, girl, regular pussy fucking, and that's it. Yeah. But then I started to try anal, and now I like anal. And now, now like half of the scenes that I make are of anal because it has such a big uh, demand. Demand. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, like. Uh, once you start just you think something but when you're already inside the industry and you see how much more money you can make with doing our stuff yeah. without going over your limits then you can go ahead and be open about yeah more stuff like that i got gotcha. it yeah you this might sound weird but i actually did anal sex before i did regular sex yeah yeah so look at me go oh. i'm a professional yeah <laughs> oh no 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 don't it's it was a disaster i'll tell you that it was uh oh yeah because it was too tight well partly that but also partly because i was like 15 and didn't know what i was doing and i thought yeah. you just kind of this is really embarrassing so i thought you just kind of like just jam it in there you know i know i know and so i heard this like really loud pop and i was uh -huh. like yeah yeah yeah, and i was like what the fuck was that and i looked in the condom had like exploded and i was yeah oh yeah so well you know there's that <laughs> which is yeah. brings me to a point that we should have better sex education and i think porn like how do you feel about people like should porn be used as a sort of sex education no i think no. porn is just entertainment okay like, like for example we see in regular movies people are being killed murder mm -hmm. and stuff the same way as porn you know it's yeah. just some sort of entertainment and i don't think it should be educational i think for sex ed we need actual specialists talking about that um talking about uh how to manage the first time sex from such a young age because nowadays these kids are having sex from such young ages and yeah. if we start speaking about this the teen pregnancy rate is gonna go faster a lot higher and yeah. yeah yeah see like yeah like i lost my virginity like well it was actually that same day like we did anal sex and then did regular sex so it was a pretty eventful day but um yeah so <laughs> <laughs> so like I was 15, but I was not the first person in my friend group to like have sex. Like there are like, I, there were a lot of people I knew that was like, they were like 12 when they started having sex. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like now that I'm older and I think about, I think back on that, I'm like, yeah, we were so stupid. Like we were like, cause sex, it's like a responsibility, you know? And yeah, we were exactly. way too dumb 
to have that responsibility. I know I was for sure too dumb. Like I made a fucking condom explode, which I think might be the first time in human history. So, I mean, like, yeah, it was, it was not good, but I do think it would be, yeah, more beneficial if there was just some kind of education to it. Yes. Maybe uh, for the parents to be more open up about, talking about sex because sometimes they feel a little shy too for example my parents were a little shy to talk to me about sex they only started talking about it when I was like around 17 ish almost yeah. 18 and the biggest advice my mom would be give me would be your body is a temple don't let anyone in because like such a closed mind um uh, testimony she was giving yeah, me yeah i was sure. like mom i've already had sex with like 10 different men like why are you talking about like but i was like no mom i'm still a virgin like yeah yeah, yeah. you're so oh. right mom I'm such yeah. a temple i know i was trying to i was trying to knock on the door of every temple i could I was like, I don't, I don't care if you could be 70. Like, hey, I'll go into a, an antique temple if I need to. <laughs> yeah, Those see. Ruins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, see, like, I, like, my parents didn't give me any kind of a talk. Like, whenever I was, like, 13, my mom tried to. Like, she was like, uh, so do you know about sex? And I was like, I don't need to hear it. And she was like, okay, and just walked out. <laughs> it's like, we're, we ain't doing this. Like, we're yeah. <laughs> like, hell no. And I think, yeah, all of us, when we were younger, it was kind of awkward for our parents to talk about that. Like, my yeah. mom was like, ah, uh, we have to speak about sex. And I was like, no, mom, like, why would you do that? Like, I don't need Ugh. that. Like, I'm not even having sex. Like, what are you talking about, mom? But I was having sex. I was just too yeah. shy about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is so stupid because, like, you know, it, it's something that obviously everyone does or nobody would be here. Yeah. So why is everybody so worried about it? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Like, but, uh, you know, maybe that'll go away, which I think, like, the openness of, like, the porn industry helps in some ways, like, make it less taboo. Like, not that porn is, like, educational, but it does help with, like, and maybe we could talk about it a little bit more. Yes, for the normalization of it. Yeah. Uh, because people are always so surprised when I tell them, oh, I'm a porn actress. They're like, oh, my God, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. They just go crazy. And I'm like, it's, it's kind of normal. Like, yeah, as you have your own job, I have my job. The only difference is that I'm naked in front of the camera. But being naked is not that much of a big deal. Like, yeah. It used to be, but now I just see the world in a way different way than I used to. Yeah. So, yeah. See, like, do, do you ever do a porn movie? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's much of a demand, to be honest. <laughs> Why not? No. I don't know. I don't we know. have to keep the same thing. Porn is open for all type of likes. That's and true. Desires and Yes, you will always be liked by someone. I assure you, it's crazy. Oh, that's true. That's true. Well, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I probably would. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not really like I'm not. I don't think I would be nervous about doing it. It's more just like I would need the time to think like because I would know that it's permanent. Like even if I only did one scene, it's there forever. Exactly. So, like I would have to really think about it. But also. I tend to not think about my decisions, so I might just do it and say, well, hope for the best. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. I think I'd do it. Why not? Yeah, it's cool, yeah. but it is true that you have to think about it deeply when you're just about to do your first scene because, as you said, it's going to be there on the internet everywhere. Even though the production that you made it for deletes it, it's going to be on free hubs everywhere. Yeah one might have downloaded it like it's already out there so i think yeah. that if you starting born you have to make a career out of it so mm -hmm. you would make something out of your image being out there yeah for sure that's uh, yeah I, I would imagine so so yeah i think i think i would do it i just would need like you know the right co-star or something so 
but I would, mm. I think it'd be all right. I don't, wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, yeah. like I've in a sense had sex in, in on camera. Cause like I, uh, you know, in like the Walmart parking lot, they have security cameras. So <laughs> I'm wow. joking, that's a no, 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 you did it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, target actually, I'm a little classier than that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah i know i had an i had an interesting teenage years so the the security guy at a, a target was jerking off during that and you didn't know probably actually those security camera videos really do sell well so i know i need you, to call them and ask them yeah like, yeah like, you're like my rights my model rights <laughs> i need a content i'm i own it exactly Richard. <laughs> so what are some things like on your list of like things that you won't do um okay i won't do pissing i won't do uh rimming i won't okay you know what that is yeah 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 leaking yeah. asshole right. i won't do anything with feces okay feces? yeah 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 feces yeah uh, i won't do a double anal penetration, triple anal penetration. Um, double penetration might be, because I think it's kind of fun, but <laughs> not now, because I feel like it might hurt. But yeah, yeah, I think those are some stuff that you need to train for more. But basically, yeah, what I said, I don't think they have any other no. Yeah um maybe like not vdsm uh okay. type of things like i've been offered some jobs that are like that and you have to be tied up and they put some clippers in your nipples and yeah, yeah. put a very hot uh the candle liquid uh -huh. yeah wax body so yeah. i hate that some yeah. girls love it yeah I yeah, yeah. Hate, i would have this face like what are you doing see i don't like but, it either I hate yeah. I hate seeing videos like that because I have like just a thing of like I don't want to see because obviously you know when you watch porn you're trying to like put yourself in the situation I guess and like I would never do that to someone because I like have to me it's like a disrespect which I know that the people who do it that's not what the how they look at it but that's how I look at it is like I don't want to see someone like I don't want to see a woman like tied up like I want to yeah. see the opposite. Like I want to see a woman be like super strong, super like powerful, and having them like tied up and shit like that is not yeah. doesn't tied do it for up me. And they hit them with different stuff and with their yeah. hands. And they spit on them and they just make them look like shit. And I just feel yeah. like it. That's where uh, it loses the essence of pleasure and it starts being about pain. Yeah, it's I abusive. Don't like really abusive because like i know i've done like i've or i've been asked to like choke someone and i was like i don't know about this like i feel well, real which i did it a little but I, it was a very light like you know kind of like i was basically resting my hand on their neck i was like ah fuck, yeah. this is weird yeah i mean i like kind of like being choked but mm -hmm. just with this like you know yeah. just pressing a little bit but of course, don't choke me until I cannot breathe, <laughs> because otherwise I'll die. Yeah, yeah you yeah. have to choose wisely who you're doing the, that type of stuff with, because some people can really go over their hand and yeah. maybe cause you some pain or something. Well, it was a sketchy situation because it was also the first time I'd met this person. She's like, you oh. could choke. Yeah, she's like, you could choke me. I was like, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like. I mean, if you want to just like not be able to breathe, I'll you know just get on top. That'll, that'll yeah. work. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, I was like, we're, I was like, I, I, was like ah, I think it might be time for me to go. <laughs> like, fuck this. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. Do you have like a bucket list? Do you know what a bucket list is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, do you have like a bucket list of different like types of scenes that you want to shoot? um i don't know like type of scenes in which aspect of so that? well like different um 
like doing scenes of like different like fetishes, kinks, or oh like yeah, like co-stars, things like that. I want to do more uh, foot jobs and stuff like that because I know there are a lot of people who have a uh, thing for feet, and I think my feet are cute, so <laughs> I like doing that. Yeah. I like it that they like them. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I want to do more lesbian because recently I found out that I really like shooting lesbo mm -hmm. the thing I, i'm not bisexual i'm heterosexual mm -hmm. but i still like shooting with girls so yeah. yeah i think that my dream scene would be a lesbo scene with emily willis okay That's yeah because yeah, yeah. she's so good at lesbo i'm just <laughs> so in love with her <laughs> yeah yeah i so, i would imagine well, Hmm? What will be your dream scene? Ooh. I mean, like I have certain like actresses that are like, so like I don't necessarily go for like a category, although like I typically go either like Latina or black, like Ebony. Okay. So like I never, I'm not a fan of like white women. Like, wow. <laughs> which I don't know, could be like a whole thing with me. I don't know. But like, usually like anything that's like uh, Latina, usually. So like Luna star or somebody like that, mm -hmm. like that would be like, so it would have to be something kind of like that. But I also have a, okay, this is fucking weird. But like, I have this thing where I like, um, like surprise sex, you know? So like somebody's like bent over, like doing something like washing dishes or something and then uh -huh. they come up behind them and it's oh. like the it's like the look of surprise on their face like when their eyes get like real big like yeah. racer style yeah. yeah exactly so i like that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so oh, that I would know. be mine yeah for sure yeah it's so cool yeah maybe. i know i don't yeah i don't know what it is about that but that's like my go-to so yeah, Jesus. What? Okay, if you could do a scene with any celebrity, who would it be? I don't know. Mm, probably with Kylie Jenner because I uh, I want to see her naked. I don't know why. Like, oh, we all do. I, trust me. Like I don't know why. I just see her all the time. Mm -hmm. She always wears such tiny bikinis, such tiny things, so tight stuff. Like, that's kind of like a, a, an imagination I have. I gotcha. Uh, no, that's you? a good one. Mm, whenever I was a kid, I had a really big thing for Lil' Kim. You remember her? Do you know who that is? Lil She's Kim? a rapper. Lil' Kim. She was a oh, rapper. No. Okay. Well, so like now, maybe like Doja Cat oh so either yeah. doja cat or like um selma hayek oh yeah selma hayek actually probably be number one so yeah jesus yeah <laughs> crazy hey. oh yeah hey if you could go into space would you yes uh, really you're not scared like you wouldn't be scared <laughs> to go into space no of course uh, i would have to need a little bit of preparation beforehand so i trust myself with it so yeah, i would because i was reading all that stuff about like pete davidson like i guess kanye west is trying to launch his ass into space or something and oh yeah and i was like okay so okay what would you rather do go into like the ocean like deep into the ocean or in outer space outer space because um, I don't know. I feel like the deep of the ocean is kind of scary, and the out of yeah. this out of the space is uh, more exciting for some reason for like uh, aliens and that stuff. So yeah, the I just ocean. know that like we already kind of know what's deep in the ocean, like different type of fishes, maybe some scarier fishes, but it's all fishy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, out there that can be anything i am terrified of the ocean yeah. terrified are you going are you planning on like coming to the u.s to like work i want to go but i don't know yet when or is it difficult like is it difficult to get i mean i assume you have to go through all sorts of like paperwork and you know shit like that but yeah like also yeah i need a working visa 
yeah there i think for most productions and i only yeah. have a two visa like i could visit right now but like working there i don't know if i'm allowed to right now no but i, I mean, would have to tram it that but it's kind of weird because i have worked for american productions here uh in spain and yeah. i don't need a working visa for that so i don't know exactly right. but I kind of feel that, like I do need to do some paperwork, but I do want to go to the U.S. to work soon because yeah. I know there's so many productions there. Um, yeah, so yeah, cool. I'd see. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that like you could at least go and do like OnlyFans content. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's what I would like to do to go to Miami or something like that. Mm -hmm. I know that there's where most content creators are, and also yeah. I think that. In these days, uh, the Exotica, uh, mm -hmm. how do you call it, like hall is going to be open with lots yeah. of porn actresses and stuff. And some uh, Spanish porn actresses have traveled there to be mm -hmm. there. So yeah. that's cool. I would have liked being there, actually, but I don't know, yeah. probably a couple of years or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's so, like, were you always a really confident person? Because I assume you have to be super confident to do porn. Yeah, you you need to be super confident. But the thing about confidence is that you can fake it. So, like, yeah, you can appear in the shooting with a face like this. Like, mm -hmm. I want to fuck you. And, like, look at my body. But then, yeah. like, the next day you can go cry about how ugly you think you are. So I, yeah. that's kind of my relationship with myself. Like, yeah. I do like the way it look. I think I'm pretty fairly confident. But mm -hmm. of course, some days I have some downfalls. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so ugly. Oh my God, I'm so fat. Oh my God, I'm so fat. <laughs> but then I yeah. actually do think that porn somehow re reinforces your mm -hmm. uh, confidence. Yeah. Because you have so many fans, so many people telling you, oh my God, you're so hot. Oh my God, you're so good. Oh my God, you're everything. So, yeah. Because, yeah. see, that's what I would imagine is that, like, because you have to see your own body so much in, like, in a situation that most people don't, you know? Like, most people, if they see themselves, like, naked, it's because they're, like, about to take a shower or something. So, like, you're really seeing yourself in, like, kind of an exposed way. So, you have to be sort of confident about, like, hey, this is how I look. And look at all these people who also love how I look. Which I think a lot of women, especially women, like don't get that opportunity because they're kind of yeah. always told to think that they're not attractive enough. Cause exactly. If like they're told you have to fit in a standard, uh, you have to be skinny, you have to be like this, and that's the only way you're going to be liked. But when you enter porn, you realize that so many sizes and um, skin colors and mm -hmm. hair types are accepted by so many different types of fans that I think that anyone with a low self-esteem might get it a lot higher if they enter porn. Yeah, for real. I would. Yeah, see, I would think so. I mean, just the the constant of people telling you, like, look at how good you look. Because I'm sure you're getting it like all the time, especially because you have OnlyFans and people can communicate with you. So you're probably getting it all the time because like you're obviously like a very attractive person, but like everybody still has those things of like, man, I don't know if I'm really that attractive, but if you're having people tell you all the time, like, look at how good you look, it's got to help you in some way. Yeah. In some way. Yeah. Yeah. I really think that it helps a lot. Yeah. See, that's, I think it's very interesting. Like, do people come up to you? Like, do people recognize you? Like, um, so the, the only place that I've, being recognized that is my local gym okay i go to the gym every day and there like around six people mm -hmm. have come up to me to tell me hey are you marina <laughs> uh, but it's so crazy because it has only happened in one same place and yeah. those people aren't even friends or I i've never seen them together okay. or anything okay so it's so crazy i'm like what's going on with this gym like <laughs> like seriously like why are all of these people uh recognizing me just here like yeah. not on the screen not anywhere else and it's also so weird because uh, when i'm at the gym i'm not wearing any makeup 
Mm-hmm. I'm wearing a high ponytail. I'm sweating. I have the worst face in the world. <laughs> they come up to me and they're like, oh, you're Marina Gold. Can I take a picture? And I was, yeah. I'm like, no, <laughs> please no. <laughs> <laughs> and up uh, accepting either way so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean but does it feel good to get recognized like it's gotta feel yes. kind of good yeah yes because imagine you become a porn actor you're still an actor like you live True. based on how popular you are mm-hmm. and the more popular you are the more money you're gonna make so being recognized means okay i'm doing something right yeah mm-hmm. exactly well and just getting any kind of recognition for what you're doing is exactly. such a good feeling because like i do stand up like i do stand up comedy and uh-huh. any any like recognition i get which like i don't do it to get recognition i just like doing it but you know whenever i have somebody tell me like hey that was like really funny blah 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 like i mean it feels amazing amazing like, yeah. yeah which i mean i'm sure there's probably like part of me maybe even part of you that like are seeking it like like because i didn't get any attention like as a kid so like i constantly am trying to get attention like you which I'm, I'm not saying that that's how you are but like i'm just am trying to get it and so whenever i get like positive attention i mean it feels like it feels like yeah. i like have missed it my whole life you know yes uh i do think that i seek attention and mm-hmm. i don't know if i've never had it in my life i, I think i've had some attention during my life my yeah. family boyfriends and stuff but when you come become an actress or a porn actor you get so much attention that it's very mm-hmm. gratifying to have so many people know you and recognize you yeah and tell you that they like you however there mm-hmm. are also um some haters somewhere around there yeah yeah of course but so how do you deal with that because I think that's even like more important is like, how do you deal with the negative side of it? I just tell them, oh, okay, baby, thank you. Bye. And I block them. Um, <laughs> however, it's not only only fans, it's also um, uh, pro- producers or some managers like, okay, even though porn is like an open minded industry and stuff there's still a lot of toxic people some people who can speak about you in a bad way Mm -hmm. and i've heard some stuff (laughs) it has hurt my feelings but try to keep moving on and i just start to realize who i like to work with and who not and when it's fans um sometimes i have basically received uh messages that are racist um for example Uh, when I just started my career, uh, I had this guy who texted me the, a whole testimony this long. It was super long. And yeah. he was like, you'll never get anywhere in porn because you're a South American slut uh, who doesn't know to do anything. Like everything related to where I was coming from. And yeah. I was like, what? I never even replied. I just blocked him. Yeah. And also, I've had some people tell me because I've shoot it for private black, so I've shoot it international scenes, and mm-hmm. I've got some people telling me on my own fans, "Oh my God, you're so disgusting for shooting with a black guy!" Like, "Oh, you're such a ugly slut!" Like, so many stuff like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are yeah. people like this? You start well, to realize there are actually people like that. But it's also that is not your problem. That's them yeah. having a problem with themselves and they're like projecting it onto you. Like, uh, cause otherwise, like if like, maybe if they're not into it, they're not into it, but they wouldn't care what you're doing. Like they would just exactly. say, oh, I'll just watch a different one. Like mm-hmm. those people are people that have their own problems. So, but that also uh, probably helps you like kind of develop yourself to be like more, you know, kind of like stronger. Cause you're, yeah, because you're able to just like pass all this stuff away. Like, yes, yes. you need to pass on it because if you let it affect you, then you're fucked up. You yeah. like the most important thing is your self confidence. Doesn't yeah. matter if you're confident or not, you have to still show that you are confident. exactly because no one likes a porn scene where the girl uh is with this face like uh, doesn't want to show much i mean it, that's some type of form but 
yeah most porn scenes are like yes look at my fly you know yeah 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 oh i know yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we are at the uh, 45 minute mark. So I just wanted to say um, this was awesome. Like, I had a blast talking with you. Like, yeah, um, me too. Awesome. So, again, like, before we go, like, where can people find you? Anything you want to promote? Uh, you can find me on all social media, like Marina Gold XX, and on my OnlyFans, like Marina Gold VIP. <laughs> <laughs> 